Hi. Okay. I have a story today. Like, for real, it's a good one. Stick with me. It's also still kind of happening, and I'm so stressed out about it that I, like, can't even look at my phone, which is a big deal, because normally she's all I want to look at. I don't even look at my wife anymore. Um, but yeah, I have trouble staying on topic. I'll probably end up, like, bringing up how I'm losing my hair, because that's normally what I'm thinking about. But this is a story about going viral, celebrities, Tom Holland, Spider-Man, Green Goblin. Not the Green Goblin. He doesn't come up. He just did. Um, just pretending to be something, lying, how things can snowball out of control on the internet in general. I'm constantly learning that lesson. And uh, also stay tuned because I'm currently DMing and uh, planning on calling somebody after I tell this story that has to do with the story, and I'm guessing it's going to be uncomfortable as is life. Uh, so, let me start from the beginning. If you've never seen my videos, I, I'm guessing you have seen my videos. I want to think that this is going to like bring my YouTube channel more attention, but has that ever worked? No one ever clicks the SoundCloud link under a viral tweet. No one ever buys the glow in the dark. You ever see that? A tweet goes viral and underneath it, it's like all of a sudden you're on Amazon. It's like, hey girlies, you're going to love the glow in the... No, I'm not. I'm not nine years old anymore. Why did I start crying? <laughs> I think I just talk too much and almost begin hiccuping. I'm stressed. So last night I was getting uh, tagged in this tweet that was basically just, a, I don't know, paparazzi or someone snapped a picture of Zendaya and Tom Holland at this cafe in Boston. I mean, personally, I'm like, who cares? Maybe if they were like, I don't know, peeing at the DMV. I'm not saying they did that. I'm not starting another lie here. I can't see them. I could see Tom. I could see Tom lifting a leg while getting his new driver's license. But, um, <laughs> but, uh, sorry, I'm totally losing. I'm like nervous to make this in general because I don't really know what there's just been. A, let me just show you, by the way, this is what it, I don't know. If maybe this has happened to you. If a tweet goes like viral, like you, this app that normally is like pretty chill. I have somewhat of a following on it. Every time I go like this, seven, look at the little thing. Can you see it? The bell just keeps adding blue to it and it never stops and people are having conversations and people are questioning me. Let me just stay on topic though. So I thought it would be funny because listen, I'm a guy with glasses and long hair. This is the picture, by the way. I never edit these videos, but I'm going to show it right here. That guy kind of looks like me. And to me, like, because I'm me, I don't really think he does. But that's life, right? Like, people are, I don't know if you have someone telling you, like, oh my god, I literally found your doppelganger! And it's just like, okay, because I have curly hair, that's it. That's, that's me to you. That's a 75-year-old actress. <laughs> I'm a 26-year-old man. <sighs> but I thought it would be funny to kind of run with it because it looks enough like me. And I just, honestly, let me just say, in general, m putting this out there on Twitter, I thought, I thought maybe it would cross over, for, but for the most part, the people who follow me, I thought they'd be like, oh, Drew's like being funny, that's not him, he doesn't live in Boston, this is just him being silly. I didn't realize or think about the fact that it might actually like, you know, something happens with tweets where sometimes it just hooks on to the algorithm and like I just showed you, it just goes and goes and goes and it becomes like one of the tweets of the day, one of the stories of the day. And I didn't think about that, so I just thought, okay, what does it look like this guy is doing? At first I was gonna say like, hey, I'm just trying to game, I just got the new Halo. I don't play, I haven't played a video game since uh, Crazy Taxi and I think at Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which Man, it was fun to walk around Hogwarts. I still remember the sound of his, of Harry's shoes tapping against the Hogwarts floor. And, uh, <laughs> and I was trying to figure out what it looked like he was doing. I'm sorry, it's hard on the internet. The internet has taken over my brain and I literally forget what I'm talking about while I'm talking about it. So I thought maybe it looks like he's making beats. He's got the headphones on. It looks like he's making music. He's turning up the hi-hat. He's turning down the snare. I know music. I make my own. So I said, I'm just trying to make beats. What the F? I thought it would be, it's like a funny idea that this guy's just, and all of a sudden Tom and Zendaya are like, um, what kind of, you know, frappuccini should we have? Like, which, by the way, why are they just going, why do they go out? Like, if I was them, I would con I would only Postmate Starbucks. Like, it has to be sort of a, a PR thing. I, I'm sure, like, at least three or four Zendaya, Tom Holland, Stan accounts are watching this. I respect them. I think they're both very good actors. Love Tom Holland in this movie, The Impossible, about a hurricane. Love Zendaya in Euphoria. Even though I had to stop watching season two because it 
<laughs> I just felt like throwing up. Um, not her fault though. But um, I thought it would be funny to say that I was just making beats and that's just a funny, like I said, a funny visual of the guy who's like just trying, just trying to have fun and uh, can't catch a break because Tom and Zendaya are flirting and uh, pretty much immediately it started like crossing over and I, I knew that there would, there would come a point where, I've done this before, I'm not like a full-time troll or anything and I don't do it in like an evil way but I've riled up the Swifties before, okay, I've, it's pretty easy easy to get the um, the 1D stands on the hook around 2015 that was like taking candy from a baby uh, and and it's fun because half of them get it that you're being ironic and half of them wish you death like immediate death and um, that's just and the people who know me are just like oh my god he's at it again so um, I knew that eventually if I under the tweet so it started getting retweets and under the tweet I thought it would be funny <laughs> to like tell the story of like if anyone wants to know and I, I thought it was I tried to make it somewhat believable so it would seem like is he telling wait is that him but I thought it was I always think that I'm being like just silly enough or no you know when you like tell a joke you're like oh my god I'm how did you think that was serious but other people are like I don't have the context of your brain I don't know like it seemed true enough to me I literally said that I overheard Zendaya say euphoria is crazy why would she say that. And I said that Tom replied, you're telling me. That sounds like a fan fiction that if a 10 year old wrote it, you'd be like, let's try again. Kelly, let's try again. Mandy. I'm trying to think of a 10 year old's name in 2022. What are they named now? Devin? No. Devin with a Y? Totally. Um, so I thought, it would, and I said that Tom has restless leg syndrome, which to me that was just so ridiculous, like that I would diagnose Tom Holland with restless leg, and then I would notice that, like, I don't know, the whole, and then, let me just say, I deleted it because this is the other funny thing that happened. So after I wrote that, people kind of started believing that. I'll read the quote tweets in a second. And then under that, I just thought it would be funny, like an hour later, I was like, what else can I do with this? But it ended up being too trolly, I think. I said, um, by the way, no one's gonna believe this, but they reek of cigarettes. I was like, Camel Crush, I think, could see the outline in Tom's jeans. And to me, that is the most ridiculous, again, like so clearly I'm messing around. I'm like, okay, at this point, it's just basically admitting to the fact that I don't know what I'm talking about. This is all made up. But people are like, all, like the Stan account, oh my God, like, can you, li like, it's their business. Who cares? He's stressed, he's an actor. He's an actor. Let me just look at these these quote tweets for a second because okay, under the tweet, by the way, so many people replying, mean like me, me when I lie, me when I lie. What's the point? What someone literally replied, "Shut up. This isn't about you." What isn't about me? Well, I mean, then I start like defending it like it's also not me in general, but even for that guy, like, what, it's not their wedding. <laughs> like, why can't it be about him? Why can't it be about the guy on the right side who's eating a sandwich? It's about all four of them. To me, this is a sitcom. And I'd love for them to, to ha make that happen. Okay, now it's at 416. It literally was at 400 when I started making this video. Okay, somebody, so under words I said, an underwords. If anyone is curious, they came in for about 15 minutes. Got a mocha frap to share. Isn't that a Mc... I don't even think frap. I think that's a McDonald's brand. Is a frap even a thing? Like, by the way, I love that word. It's when you say the word frap, it sounds like there's whip. Like you can feel whipped cream in your mouth. Am I wrong? Like you just start frothing. This is not sponsored by McDonald's. The quote tweets on this. Y'all are liars, but I respect it. Um, pretty sure Tate, this is like, okay, that's the other thing that happened, by the way, just sidebar. So after I kind of, I thought that once people started believing it, my strategy was, I, people always look at the replies for like a viral tweet, especially, I don't know about you, but for me, I'm always, I'm always like checking out what's the argument, what's, what's going, what's the meme that people, what are people getting into? So I thought that I would kind of just like casually drop in me and I literally Googled, I knew that there would be an article somewhere because paparazzi's like love you know ta or like these trash websites and I found the actual place that they were at so someone was like this isn't really you is it and I was like yeah it's this coffee shop called Tate I don't even know how to pronounce it Tot I don't know that would be cool I should open a restaurant called Tots where it's only potatoes 
you just have to keep talking and it's going to be okay. Sorry, I'm talking to myself now. Tom, I wish Tom Holland, can you imagine if Tom Holland was here to coach me through this video and every time I got off track and felt insecure, he was like, you're all right. Um, but anyway, I thought, I literally, I, I lost track, one second. Doesn't even matter, because I kept looking. Restless leg syndrome, I'm not surprised. I'm crying. Um, euphoria is crazy. Like, that's just so funny to me, that, it, to me, I don't want to get, like, fake deep about this, but in general, people believe this, and anything on the internet, because it's easy, it's a good story. It's a funny story for there to be a guy making beats next to two of the biggest celebrities in the world, and him being like, it's kind of, you know, it represents, like, it sort of shows the silliness of celebrities in general. Like, I'm just a person who are, again, this is not me, but that's kind of how, why I think it sort of caught on because it's just a funny story and in general if the story is funny and interesting enough it does not matter if it's true honestly I think that if you zoom in or look at any of my videos you can zoom into that guy's face you can tell that's not me but it's you don't have time for that anymore on the internet you know what I mean and it was funny that I said Zendaya said Euphoria is crazy and Tom was like, I know, like the idea that they'd be taught and that Tom has seen you, it's just, it's all very ridiculous, but it was just made me laugh so much. This lie is so unnecessary. This doesn't even sound real. By the way, somebody literally, somebody else tweeted me. This was the funniest one that I saw. More great PR from Zendaya's team. This was not as spontaneous as some of you may think. The idea, again, not really me, but if it was, the idea of that being, like, put together, like, just imagine, like, ring, ring, um, hi, this is Drew Monson, who's this? Uh, hi, hi, it's, uh, it's, it's Kelly from, um, Zendaya's, t I keep using the example name Kelly. Uh, yeah, hi, Drew, we, we love to, Tom and Zendaya are so excited, so they're on their way to Tate right now, they're gonna get a frap, and, uh, we are just so excited for this integration, uh, we, we think this is gonna be great for the Spider-Man home video, it's on Stars now, so we're, we're just gonna try and push this, just show up, please wear your purple headphones they're gonna love it this is gonna be so, like the idea that this would be cow like what what like a youtube like and then what and then what would that do for anybody literally someone was like i'm looking through his most recent someone said they're looking through my media my media tab on twitter to see if i had a beard or not currently which at that point i was like i want to just delete this whole thing um did I mention the Camel Crush thing already? Yeah, I deleted that because somebody ended up saying they're gonna sue you, and I think they were joking, but I was like, what if they did? Like, what if they, <laughs> can you imagine the trial? Can you imagine the trial of, and by the way, the, oh, the other reason I deleted the Camel Crush thing is because people started, the, the Stan account started being like, no, he, uh, Zendaya doesn't smoke, but Tom does. And someone sent me like three, a three picture tweet of Tom Holland smoking. And then all of a sudden I was like, well, this clearly isn't, um, this clearly isn't um, ridiculous enough. And by the way, Tom, if, if you somehow are watching this and you still are smoking, hit me up, I quit. This is, I'm not chasing clout. I would never have all the cloud I need, honestly, but I can help you. And, and no nicotine patches, like, I've got a system, baby. For real, though, I quit smoking in June. Thank you very much. I was like, pack and a half a day, it sucked. Tom, if you're suffering, there is help out there. Uh, but yeah, just in general, I don't really know what else to say about this. I wrote down a few other things. Um, I'm Basically, the next part of this story is just that it kept blowing up, it kept getting more and more, and it just went from like 50,000 likes to 300,000, and then I realized as this was happening that, okay, eventually the actual guy in this picture, it's getting to the point where he's going to see it. Again, when I first put this on my Twitter, I thought that it would maybe get my like normal 1K, 3K at the highest. Like my, I did not think, but at a certain point, he's gonna end up, the, the real man is, is somewhere out there. I can't imagine, I couldn't imagine that he had died. Why would I even say that? Oh, there's an ant. Are you serious? There's an ant? Okay, we're talking about Spider-Man, not Ant-Man, little guy. Should I eat it? I'm not that wild. I don't want to kill it. Okay, I'm just going to talk. <laughs> How nasty would it be for me to just... I just have bugs crawling over me. That does not make the, the long hair and glasses collection of men look good. I'm just like, Hi, 
I'm doing a vlog. There's just creepy crawlies covering me. Sorry, roach. Sorry, there's a, this is a beetle. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna put you on my doorknob and you can have your fun. Okay, oh shit. Oh, I thought I killed it. Okay, I don't wanna flick him. Literally, normally I would just smush him in a second, but something about like being online and, and having people look at me and I don't feel like editing this video, I wanna seem nice. <laughs> okay, is it? <sighs> okay, that, uh, that didn't seem like enough impact to, what if all of my, all of my uh, breath filled up his lungs. Why am I to, like, that is so not funny to imagine a ant suffocating on my breath. Does it smell bad? Wouldn't that be horrible? The last thing that the, 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 the ant smells is like the leftover potatoes in my mouth. That's disgusting, but I did have a russet potato earlier. I totally got off track. I told you I would, but about two hours ago, the guy who was actually in the picture, this is uh, where I was going with this, uh, tweeted in response and he said, let me find, I'll turn off the camera and actually find it. He said, hey folks, hate to break it to you, but that is actually me. I was doing work for at chillhiphop.com and my music label at Lodisco Music. Tom and Zaya were very good company, ha ha. So, I found this guy's Instagram, and I slid right in to my doppelganger. Can you just imagine? Just that moment when you slide into the guy who looks enough like you that you go viral pretending to be him, and just hit him with a, you up? No, I said, um, this is what, I'm just going to read it right now. I said, dude. Super chill. I just saw your tweet. I'm about to make a video coming clean on my lie. LOL. He hearted that. Could I interview you for for it? Even like 10 minutes, FaceTime, Zoom, whatever. I think it would be funny. I didn't expect it to blow up. LOL. All good, man. It was funny. I mainly just want to let people know. Okay. Yeah, dog. He's calling me dog now. I, honestly, I have mostly female friends. I don't bro out a lot. This feels great. Dog, dude. Man, oh man, this is fun. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to turn off the camera right now and set up a call with him. And honestly, I'm excited because this is like my first exclusive. This man was next to Zendaya and Tom Hall. I mean, that's kind of a big deal, right? He's going to tell me what they smell. I've got questions. And um, let's see what happens. Okay, one sec. Okay, I just hit send. I sent him the link to the Zoom meeting. I'm honestly so nervous right now. I'm just like, I'm like really scared. <laughs> I hate talking to new people and in general like the fact that I pretended okay. Ooh, I hope he's not angry. Hello? Wait, can you hear me? I can, yeah. Hi. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, hi David. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Drew. Um okay, so how are you, first of all? I'm doing all right. Yeah. yeah. It's been it's been kind of crazy, but uh okay, it's also well, nice to meet you, Drew. But yeah. Yeah. So that was my, my first question is, let me just let me just ask you from the beginning. Can I hear the story of um, just before all of this tweeting and pictures and lying happened, what happened the day you went to the coffee shop in Boston? I, I stayed in Boston for, uh, for like St. Patty's, like yeah. unintentionally. I just booked the weekend and... Okay, cool. I'm so nervous right now. I'm sorry. I'm like talking about anything, but let's I'm trying to I've never done an interview on my YouTube channel before. So no, it, I've I've never been interviewed for. Yeah, no, this is interesting. Okay, so you so you get into this place. It's called Tot Tata. What is it called? Toddy? Toddy Tatty. Okay, I don't so so you walk in and you see what happens. I, w I have been there for probably like an hour already okay. just working on my laptop. Um, yeah. answering emails and stuff and then some people got up and left and then a couple folks came over and yeah i i do i do remember when they came over because they had a dog with them uh okay. cute little puppy and they asked me they were like hey can we sit here is anyone sitting here i'm like oh yeah go God. for it didn't even know who they were you like, really didn't because okay let me just say like from my perspective when i saw you in that picture kind of like looking at i was like this guy knows who they are and do is doing what i would do where i kind of like I'm acting like I don't know because I don't want that. I want to maybe form a friendship with them and I don't want them to think I'm standing. Didn't even know who they were. You like... you really didn't. Because, okay, let me just say, like, from my perspective, when I saw you in that picture, kind of like looking at, I was like, this guy knows who they are and do is doing what I would do where I'm kind of like, I'm acting like I don't know because I don't want that. I want to maybe form a friendship with them and I don't want them to think I'm standing. Yeah, yeah, right. Because it's always like uh, they're just normal people and then you go yeah, up and go, yeah, yeah. oh, you're you're Tom Holland. It's like, of course, that's who I am. So, know, so they said, can we sit here? And you didn't even register. You're just like, these are two, these are just two like random attractive people. 
yeah i just thought they were just a, a couple just like yeah. grabbing lunch and and there down. wasn't like a there wasn't like a hype in the air already where people are like you can feel like the spicy energy of people looking no like uh i think a lot of other folks kind of like yeah didn't really register it as okay. well because uh because in that photo too like when i'm looking at tom like i know who tom holland is but, yeah uh, but in that moment like i didn't even register it i'm just like ah some uh dude with curly hair just like you know like a like another dude smelling um, good i'm guessing smelling only... so good they, really? they did yeah it they did they did smell pretty good but like the nice um, part of the mall yeah do you realize it's them while you're there no yeah i i woke up today and my coworker uh hit me up and he's like hey man like uh is this you like th- th- really no, this has got to be you yeah and I was that's like, crazy <laughs> i didn't even know until he told me <laughs> and you were really working on beats because i was just guessing from the headphones you were actually making music you weren't eavesdropping at all I wasn't making music in the coffee shop because I feel like that could be kind of oh, okay. Uh, what's the word looking for? Like a bombastic or like a, just like pretentious or something. Pretentious. Yeah, exactly. right, right. Like me. Um, <laughs> I mean, I can't be too. But... So you don't have any memory of like just besides the smell, any kind of body, lay, any kind of things that popped into your head, like what they were doing, what kind of coffee they drank, if their dog was annoying, did their dog bite you? Could we sue? No. <laughs> No, their dog was pretty chill. Like uh, it was very happy. It kept it did keep jumping up. Um, really, you touched their dog? I didn't. The dog touched me. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I feel weird about touching people's dogs. Right. Maybe you're the same. Where it's just like you go down and reach. Like, and I, that's I an expensive dog. They're gonna think for sure you're you're looking to kidnap. At what point do you see that I'm pretending to be you? So for one of the music labels that I work for, uh, our our moderator group hit me up, and they're like, they also saw it, and they're like. Oh my God, this is you. They you saw know, they, my tweet or the, just the pop, just the picture from the updates? Uh, from the updates, okay. but then they found, then they found your tweet That's and so they were funny. like, yeah, they're like, oh, this person's trying to be you. And it's just like, I'm like, dang. Like at first I was like, yeah, it's pretty unru- like no one's trying to be me, you know? So, really? Okay. And, yeah. and were you annoyed? No, I, I honestly, like I found it. I did find it quite funny and I was just yeah. like I thought I thought the whole thing was silly and like people were like beefing and like feeling like oh like could you as- tell that I was just like a YouTuber who was just like messing like did you think that I was actually trying to imper could you tell I was trolling yeah like uh yeah. like I got the gist that you're a YouTuber yeah like, oh, okay just like- but that's what also what I wanted to ask you was like I was just talking making this video like having like long hair and glasses people are constantly saying I look like anybody who has long hair and glasses or just like a little bit of stubble, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, uh, yeah, some dude hit me, uh, didn't hit me up at the bar. Like, he approached me at the bar and he was like, oh, it's so nice to see you again. He's like, excuse really? me, like, we've never yeah. met. Yeah. Tom Holland's like, dude. So so there was no, like, actual, because you can tell me. I won't be upset if, if you, for a second, you were like, man, I could, like, to get your, like, music or, or the label or just say, I will put this in the video. What What would you like, since I owe it to you, for uh lying what's what's your deal what do you want to show people uh yeah and that's very kind of you like uh like i i respect the fact that you do want to like kind of come clear and, like, of course this, like most people would be like ah you know but uh yeah you know uh i work for a music label called chill hot music and okay uh, you know people should go follow you know that's the lo-fi hip-hop trends that you see on youtube and stuff like that that's okay. one thing i also run my own music label called low disco music okay which is a house music label um and you know, it would it would be great if people followed that as well as uh, I don't know a result of all this. But um, and then like if you just want to follow me in general, because yeah, what's know, your Twitter and Insta or and whatever you want to plug? Uh, Improv Lad. So everything okay, is Improv at Lad, Chill yeah. Hop Music, at Low Disco Music, and at Improv Lad. Great. You follow follow as there. as an apology. You know, because really, really, this is a case of stolen clout. If it was me, I'd be, I, I'd be, a, I wouldn't be happy. But I'm, I'm glad that we can. Um, I know I'm, I'm very chatty and I talk over people. And I'm, I'm this whole thing has been stressing me out because I expected it to just be like one of my normal tweets, and now I feel like I'm lying. And I guess I kind of was, but I, I thought that it would just be like an inside joke with people who knew I was lying. And now it's. So tell me, are you getting like any people from high school or like someone you used to have a crush on thinking you're cool now? Um, no, but uh, a lot of random people are yeah. <laughs> hitting me up and they're, they're like, 
oh man i just saw this like you know they're saying they saw the photo and like yeah they're just like being like god oh, random people from twitter are like oh you're cute like an icon really like, yeah which is crazy because i'm like an average looking dude like i'm all right but, hey like, <laughs> hey hey be careful we look the same so let's, True. okay uh... <laughs> well well you're, i guess you're the better half in this case but <laughs> How do, guys comment down below no okay um so do, do you, um, do, did you think even for a second, because for a second when the, my tweet started going viral, I was like, what if, what if Tom Holland, because I mean, you know what I mean? Like their PR, they've clearly, they probably got a whole staff working for them of anything that happens. And so like, I can't imagine they, they haven't seen the picture of you. I don't think that maybe they've seen my tweet pretending to be you, but do you know what I, they probably seen you now. Yeah, I'm sure they're. I'm sure they're just like, oh, that's the guy that was sitting next to us at the coffee shop that day, or something right. like that. You know? They're like, that's uh, the sweet man who who wasn't mean to our dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just uh, was just chilling and vibing, and like they were also like quite sweet. Like uh, yeah, I, I feel like most people just like sit down and take a spot, but they were like very cool about it and just like polite. So right, because um, they because yeah. they could tell you were a creator. They didn't want to like ruin the vibe. If, like if let's say that the the seat next to you, you were like, actually, that's taken by my by my muse. She's a ghost, you know, like they, <laughs> yeah. they had no idea like what the rules were. Uh, yeah, I guess that could have been the case or like I was waiting for someone. Yeah, I, like a... but half the things I say don't mean anything. So don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> but that's so. So is this your first brush with any kind of um, as far you said that you've met famous people before, but as far as like um, you being in like the public eye in a way? Yeah, you know, I feel like uh, this is probably the first time that I have been like in a photo like that. And like so yeah. many people have seen some kind of photo of me. So uh yeah it's quite surprising it's how does it feel of, uh really surreal like yeah to be on, yeah to be honest like waking up and seeing that and then just yeah. seeing the overall reaction like but is, is there something about because to me like making videos and i'll just think some especially like right right now just even people obviously i lied about it that but just knowing that more people are looking at me there's just this weird feeling of sitting down in a room by yourself and knowing that you're being perceived by maybe thousands or hundreds of thousands of people. Is that overwhelming or is it mostly a positive? Uh, like Am I, I making you it, overthink it now? No, I mean, no, those, it, they are very thought provoking uh, questions. Yeah. You're, a great, you're a great interviewer in that way. Um, if, there's any, if there's any way, I feel like you should run with this in some way. Like, I mean, not make, don't be like me and, and lie and then, and then be caught in a web, Spider-Man style. Uh, <laughs> but I'm wondering if there's any way that you can really milk out this this moment because while the iron is hot and it honey it's not hot for your whole life i'll tell you that much no it's not yeah yeah i mean i would like to um it would be nice if people did like uh, be on ellen the music label and Reunion. Yeah, yeah yeah and just uh yeah you know i feel like uh, i'm gonna be moving to la soon too so okay like, cool that would be like that i feel like that is also like a good point that you made because then it, it could be nice for when i do move there and like wanna, yeah you know, it's just a funny story people. a funny story to tell in a job interview at the very or you know what i mean like the <laughs> moment that i had this this strange that even the fact that you didn't even know it was them and you just i mean honestly if i saw tom holland and zendaya and i didn't and and I didn't know who they were to the world, I would just be intimidated by them anyway, because they seem very much like people I would see and go, they're cooler than me, they wouldn't like me, I need to just <laughs> not even look at their direction, even without them being famous, but that's my own insecurity, I guess. So it's interesting that they could just go in there and I would think it would be like all of a sudden there's a crowd and they can't move or something, but clearly someone's making chill beats next to them or whatever and... <laughs> Yeah, they're like this. This is perfect. This guy is perfect for a little like under yeah. Operation. Or this this guy doesn't watch Spider Man um, or Euphoria. <laughs> oh my god. No, um, I, I I feel like I look like a, a nerd who does watch uh, Spider Man, but I haven't uh, maybe seen, I haven't seen the newest movies with Tom yeah. Holland. Unfortunately, yeah. Going to have to now just in case. Oh like, yeah, Tom just Holland as, does... res just to respect a friend. Yeah, you know who knows if he has if he does hit us up and he's like. Hey, man, Both of us, like, it's a group chat. He's it's like, a group, yeah. Hey, dude, who's gonna win? Who's gonna be my new BFF? Yeah, no, we're not beefing. We're all friends here. Like, no, and, and no harm, no foul. My last question before I go: What um do you know the guy on the right side eating a sandwich? Did you interact with him at all? 
No, I, I can't say I interacted with most of the folks there, okay. uh, unfortunately. Except because you guys are the 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 four way. Ch- you guys are like the the four musketeers now. I mean, the face of the internet. Which I don't. I really. I feel like this whole because in general, is two famous people going to a cafe that big of a deal, or is it the fact that my tweet kind of brought more? T- or is it is there something about them just being in public that's interesting? I don't really get it. I, I think it is like a combination of things. Like I think it yeah. was your tweet and it was also like that guy and the like- Right, yeah, there's like, something why, why funny. There's something, f- this is, I was talking about this in the video. There's something funny about fame sandwiched by just people. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no. It, uh, yeah, and it's weird too because when I got back home last night, I went out to the bar and like uh, this this dude was like, are you famous? Because you look like a famous person. Really? No. Yeah. That's which, crazy. So maybe he did see it already. I maybe. Because who took the picture? That's my other. Someone, the, the barista? I have no idea. They yeah. should have asked your permission. I mean, not. I'm not calling anybody out here. I'm, I know you're you're happy with the promotion, but. Yeah, I mean, I, there's not too many photos. I, I don't put too many photos on the internet of myself. Right. Usually this is stuff, this but. is a face reveal without consent. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I keep it hidden on, like, uh, the music. Really? Okay. Too, so. Yeah, that's kind of a strange experience then, right? To have the, I don't know. But you do, let me just say, you do look pretty cool. You do, I mean, it makes sense you're making these chill beats because you look chill, I would say. Like, don't, <laughs> wouldn't you even agree, like, from the outside perspective? Like, it, there's something pretty cool about sta- of sitting next to the two biggest movie stars in the world and just being like, I've got emails to answer. <laughs> I've got yeah. stuff to do. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, yeah, like, and I feel like that's like the kind of energy that we probably all share. Like, we do have stuff right. to do, or like, we we, we have that right. focus, I guess. Right. Because uh, I'm sure they were very focused in their conversation or or their acting and, uh, you know, the stuff that they do on a daily basis. Who knows what they do? I mean, what? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what actors do, and they're not making a movie. I imagine they just like they probably just went to another coffee shop afterwards. That's probably. all they've got to do. But yeah, if, if the picture would have been you going, oh. That you would have looked a lot less <laughs> you that probably would have been a little more embarrassing there is something so chill about just being like um sorry something's happening on discord okay dope. Yeah. well still you know we should uh we should connect when i'm over there and dude seriously i love whose line is it anyway like i uh, this could be the most interesting way i've ever become friends with somebody and like i'm let me just say i'm very talk like i'm kind of in like making a video mode right now but i can i I don't know why I'm trying to sell myself to, but I, I can I can chill out, drink chamomile, and and shut up. Oh man, I love chamomile. <laughs> yeah, no, you should definitely no. do that. Yeah, and people no, will be like, chamomile. "Hey, you look like," start like thinking we're twins. What if, if we, we you folks related? What if we went to a cop? We went to a coffee shop, and Tom Holland and Zendaya showed up, and they were. <laughs> And they recognized us. They start fangirling. They're like, "You're the guy," and you're the guy who pretended to be the guy. <laughs> right that would be that would be ironic as hell okay yeah no uh thanks for your time thanks for having me again you can follow me improv lad anywhere it's improv and then lad as an l-a-d not people think lab okay uh, like laboratory but yeah so improv lad uh chill hop music we're always putting that, putting out bangers we just put out an ep some minimal techno low volume dance music you um, know what? i'm yeah. gonna i'm gonna dance tonight I, i've been meaning to exercise so i i'm, I'm not even joking I'm going to blast your EP and and maybe twirl around a little bit. Yeah, I, I hope you do. Like, uh, especially the last track that Heartwork put out. It's got very dancey, like syncopated. I would love, I'm going to check that out. And I encourage everybody else to check out the last track. Wait, what's the EP called? Uh, it's called Someone's Always Late to Brunch. Someone's, see, that's perfect. We know Tom Holland and Zendaya aren't. I think you'll okay, like cool, it. Okay, cool, cool. Well, yeah. nice talking to you again. I will I will DM you any um, updates on this and thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Drew. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Okay, <laughs> I hope that was interesting. I, that was actually, he was a nice guy. I'm so glad he wasn't angry. He seemed very cool. Um, I feel like, dude, I have such a hard time talking to people. By the way, I have a Patreon. If you're maybe possibly new to my channel, uh, I do like a, a bonus things on Patreon. I've got like probably like, I think 10 hours or more on, you can watch all the old stuff too. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more on there. I don't know if I have anything else to say about this, but um, I don't know, maybe I'll talk about my thoughts on the new Spider-Man movies and uh, you know, not my favorite, but 
Tom Holland. I don't know. I've said some things and uh, I regret it. Tom, Tom, you're the best. No, I don't know. Okay, sorry, sorry, or you're, oh, I have to sing the names of the 30 pe uh, people who pay me more than 30, $30 a month on Patreon. So now it's time for a song. Speaking of music, was this, a, was this video worth anything to anybody? I can't tell if this is like a very interesting thing or if it's just one of those things for one second it feels like something and even like most people are just scrolling by like, heh, that's kind of funny. And to me, I'm like, things are happening, but I don't know, man. You know how it feels like things on the internet, they happen and just it's just a series of, oh my God, here's my thoughts on, did you hear about? And it feels like it's never gonna end. That's what's over. That's what it always feels like to me. It always feels like it's never gonna stop. It's always like the the new guy or the new girl or the new movie or the new controversy or the new word or the new game. And then literally every time, two months later, everyone's like, oh, remember? And it just becomes a joke. It becomes a joke that it was even a thing. And it's like, isn't it funny that we're bringing up this stale topic? So, man, I hope that that, that doesn't happen to David and I. But um, check out my Patreon and... I'm just gonna try and keep going here. I think I might, speaking of milking, I think I might be milking this a little too much in a pretentious way though. Oat milking. Ha ha ha, I'm funnier than that, okay. I always use the same two chords, but I don't know a lot. Darla Renee Eden Shelby Lynn Ballpreet Novia Cali Tap Stars 13 Danny Siren Lyric Tap it Sorry, I have to scroll figure out how to get these all on one page. Gretchen A. Ariella May. Christina Bayo. Niall Lindsay S. Stacy Jacenia. Shayhan, Marin Shayhan, Leon Domla, Lucy, Olivia S, Kenya, Riley, Haley, Curie, Lux, Olivia Brown. Winona Ellen S. And Cousin Maybe. That was more vibrato than I was expecting. I don't even know if that happened on purpose. David inspired me, thank you. Okay, going to Patreon. This is so much. I feel overwhelmed, but this is also completely unnecessary. 